Hi, my name is Marcella Prado and I'm with Lady Creek Stone Tech. And today we're gonna to be sealing a countertop. So we're gonna be showing you how to seal a countertop. So we are gonna be sealing a brand new countertop, granite countertop with Bulletproof Sealer, which is our top of the line sealer. Um, it has the most um, active ingredient in it that doesn't let water and oil penetrate into the stone. And the following products are the products that we recommend that you use to seal um, your countertops or your floor. So you definitely wanna use anything that you paint with. So here we have, you have a paintbrush, you have a paint pad or a small paint pad, low nap roller, and these are the products that we recommend. We do not recommend to uh, seal with rags, t-shirts, sponges, or anything like that. And due to that is that if you use anything like anything to clean with, what happens is the active ingredient that's in the Bulletproof will actually adhere to anything that you clean with. So remember to make sure that you use anything that you paint with to apply the product. Um, we also have a paint pan, which we will be pouring the Bulletproof in, and we'll be using that to apply the, uh, the product onto the stone. And over here, we have everything that to remove the sealer from the countertop. So here we do have terry cloth towels, we have the blue towels, we have microfiber towels. And you can definitely use any of that to remove the, the sealer off the countertop. And last, we do have blue tape and we have resin paper. And the blue tape is to adhere around the fixtures, as you can see here. Um, we put it around the, the sinks, you can put it around the stove, anywhere that you don't want sealer to be uh, applied on. And the same thing is with the resin paper. Make sure that you put resin paper on the floor, the cabinets, anywhere you don't want the uh, sealer to uh, get splattered on or to soak into. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and pour the sealer. And you definitely want to work in small sections. You don't want to work in large sections. If you work in large sections, what ends up happening is it's going to dry out. So you definitely want to work in certain sections, let the sealer soak in, and you're going to uh, let it sit for 15 minutes, and then you want to remove it. I'm actually going to use a paintbrush on this. I'm going to come over here. And you're going to liberally apply it. So you can, I don't know if you can see very well, but you just want to make sure that you put a lot on there. You want to let it soak in. You can definitely put it on the top. And you, uh, if you end up using a rag, which a lot of people still insist on using, what ends up happening is you're going to get uneven strokes. Uh, and what I mean by that is that the sealer actually soaks in and it's not even within the stone. And then when you do pour water on it or something on it, you'll actually see the strokes of the uh, rag. So you definitely want to use some paintbrush or pad. Okay, so this, you can see there's a lot on there. So we'll come back in 15 minutes and I'll show you guys how to remove it. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes, so after 15 minutes, we're gonna wipe off the first coat of the sealer. And this is when we're gonna use a rag or a microfiber towel, and I'm actually gonna be using both. So you're just gonna take it and completely wipe it off. And the great thing about using the Bulletproof, it's water-based sealer, so any of the application tools or removal tools that you use can actually be um, washed and reused again. So this towel is actually getting pretty saturated with the sealer that I put on the, on the stone. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty wet. So I'm going to use another one. So you want to make sure that you do have a lot of these towels or paper towels. And I'm going to remove everything off. You don't want to leave any sealer at all on the granite. So after I can remove all the sealer from the granite, I actually come with the microfiber towel at the end to make sure I remove any excess. With the microfiber towel, you can actually feel if there's any sealer 
left on there and you can just go ahead and take it off. As you can see the towel isn't as wet as, a, as the white terry cloth was wet. And just remember, if you do happen to walk away, um, the sealer has dried on the surface, you can actually pour more sealer on there, re-emulsify it, and just wipe it off. If it's been a couple of days, you might have to use a nylon brush, or you might have to strip it with our cleansal and then reapply it. And that's all there is to it. It's completely off. So now I'm going to wait 30 minutes to apply the second coat. So we'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, we are now applying the second coat of Bulletproof Sealer on the granite countertop. We'll let it sit for 15 minutes and then we'll remove. We are now removing the second coat off the granite and we will let it cure for 72 hours before we place anything on it. Okay, so we've actually just finished uh, putting two coats down of our sealer and we're gonna let it cure for 72 hours. And we recommend our revitalizer. This is our cleaner and protector. It's for everyday use for the countertops to maintain it and to keep it beautiful. So if you have any uh, questions, I will be happy to help you out and go to ladycreek.com. Thank you.